Hi, it's me again. Um, okay, let's talk about the executive branch quest review. Uh, so what are the functions of the executive branch at the national level? Um, the president is the chief executive officer of the nation, um, executes the law of the land. Uh, they prepare an annual budget for congressional review. Uh, they administer the federal, federal bureaucracy. That's all the non-elected people in the government. And uh, the president also appoints cabinet members, ambassadors, and federal judges. Um, checks and balances. How does the president check Congress? Um, he can call Congress into special session, and he can veto acts of Congress. Um, how does the president check the Supreme Court? He gets to appoint the members of the Supreme Court. Okay, let's see. How does the executive branch influence policy making? Uh, the president uh, gives an annual uh, State of the Union address. Oops, give me one second, please. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Um, he proposes legislation in an annual meeting, the Congress State of the Union address. Um, he can appeal directly to the people. A lot of the times, will president. President will give speeches from the Oval Office, um, or he'll give uh, press conferences. We'll talk to the people about legislation he'd like to propose, um, approving or vetoing legislation, and uh, he also gets to appoint um, officials who carry out the law. Uh, let's see, what are the roles of the president? Uh, he's the chief of state, ceremonial head of the government. He is, you know, when people come to when they think of the United States, of a citizen of the United States, they think of the president. Uh, he's the head of the executive branch, chief, exe chief executive, chief legislator, um, proposer of legislative agenda. He can't officially propose laws in Congress, uh, but he shares his ideas with members of Congress. He's the commander in chief. He's the head of the uh, armed forces. He's our chief diplomat. He's our architect of our foreign policy. Uh, he's the chief of the party, leave his, chief of his leader of his political party. Barack Obama is a Democrat, so obviously he is the leader of the Democratic Party. And he is a chief citizen. He is a representative of all the people of the United States. And presidential power has grown since the writing of the Constitution. Okay. So on the state level, uh, executive power is uh, exercised by the governor. He can serve four years. He or she can serve four years. However, they cannot be consecutive. He can serve one four-year term. Um, he cannot serve two consecutive terms. So he could serve four years, take four years off, come back and serve another four years. Uh, the other elected positions in our executive branch at the state level are the lieutenant governor and the attorney general. Uh, those are separate positions, so we could have a lieutenant governor who is a Republican and a uh, governor who is a uh, Democrat. And the lieutenant governor and the attorney general can serve more than four, can serve more than one four-year term. And the governor's role at the state level, he's the chief of state, he's the chief legislator, he's the chief administrator of the state, uh, he's the party chief, and he is the commander-in-chief of the Virginia National Guard. All right, so that's executive. Um, give me one moment, let's upload that, and then we'll do the legislative branch.